Okay, this is going to be a very quick, easy instructional video on how to remove a flywheel from an engine, most of your horizontals, most of your verticals as well. All right. Now I've already got this engine torn down much further than you would have it just to remove the flywheel. But um, on these older engines, you're removing the flywheel mainly to get behind the flywheel. That's where the magneto is on these older engines. Okay, on the older engines, the magneto consists of three parts. You have your coil, condenser, and points. Any one of those three parts can go bad. They typically go bad from being left outside. That's the biggest reason. On the newer engines, they have an electronic ignition. And it's a one-piece coil that sits up top here. So when the flywheel spins, the magnet on it comes around 3,600 times a second and makes contact with the ignition and that's how you get your spark. But on these older ones, it's back there. Okay, so once you've got your front shroud removed, okay, your head would still be on, your carburetor would still be there. You'd be down to your flywheel on your flywheel cup. Now here, here's the flywheel, flywheel cup, it's green. To get that off, take a pair of vice grips, put it on the back of the shaft, and then when you go to loosen this, the vice grips will stop against the ground and stop this from turning so you can remove this. Once you're down to that, you've got your You've got your puller. Now this is an intermediate puller. They go much more advanced and they go much simpler. This one takes up the three claws. So it would look like one of the ones on those uh, grabbers at the arcade. But you really only need two claws on it to get this flywheel off. Three makes it a little bit easier, but it's also harder to maneuver it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how this is done real quick. Okay line up the center with the flywheel. You adjust it by hand at first until you've got your claws on good and you know they ain't gonna go flying off. Okay. It's close. Better place to catch it. You want the claws on the flywheel in the easiest spot they can catch. So if there's stuff obstructing it on one of the fins, take it down a little further. Start to hand tighten it. You gotta hand tighten it at first. So you make sure the claws don't come off. You want them on there as far as possible, as tight as possible by hand. All right, once you've got it as tight as you can do it by hand, you take your socket with your wrench, it's a 5 8 in this case, and you begin to tighten it. Now when it tight, you keep tightening it, eventually you're gonna hear a pop, and then you'll know the flywheel has become unseated and has been ready to remove. Here we go. Tightening. Sometimes the claws will pop first, and you gotta try again. You know, there, it popped, quick and easy. Flywheel's off, as you can see, and on this one it has rust, so that had to be cleaned up to get spark. You can see an animal gop, this is your magneto, there's your coil, there's your condenser, the points are behind this cover. This condenser is all rusty. You can see an animal gop behind here and left a nest. So that would need to be fixed. It could be the condenser, it could be the coil, it could be the points, it could be all three. That's what makes it a little bit difficult on these older engines. Here's your flywheel key. Don't lose that. That's it. And when you go to put the flywheel back on, line it back up where the key was, right? Just like this. There's the groove. Put it back on by hand so it's lined up. And then you tighten to the specifications. Okay, a booklet will tell you, you can look online. I forget offhand, I think it's like 
50 pounds, 50 foot pounds of torque. It could be less. I don't know exactly. If you don't, if you don't know for sure, just tighten it down real good. Not, you know, crazy, but you want to make sure your flywheel is nice and tight because you do not want your flywheel to come flying off. That could cause serious injury, death. It'll destroy the engine. Okay, simple. Get yourself a pair of this puller. Get them at Advance, AutoZone. They're not that expensive. Um, they sell a more basic, Tecumseh made a more basic puller tool you could use if you wanted to use that, but that's the easiest, quickest way I've always found. And then you can get back here to working on this. All right, that's it, guys. Good luck. If you have any questions, feel free. Anything that could help or you know suggest that could help in any way feel free to add but that's the basic gist of it all right